Hey guys, so I wanted to share something. Don't get offended by the fruit because it's Yah's mercy to help you get to the root. That is the message, but here's the explanation of the message. So I've been thinking about seeds, trees, plants, produce, fruit, right? And the fruit of something is the last thing. Like when you look at, when you plant a seed, right? You're going to, it's going to produce something. What is it going to, what is it going to produce? So if you plant an apple seed and it grows into an apple tree, that tree is going to produce apples. So if someone um, has addiction in their family or whatever, and I don't know, they're going through a bad situation and they decide to, you know, pick up uh, weed or crack or uh, meth or whatever drug of their choice is going to produce that addiction, right? Like, so now they're doing drugs. There's the produce of the seed that was planted. Um, fornication. There was a seed that was planted for someone to be fornicating. That is the fruit. Like that is the, that is the end result of the thing. So, when I say don't get offended when those things are brought up or Yah reveals those things to you, it's not to bring it's not to bring condemnation. It's not to bring um embarrassment to you and to cause you to feel guilty or cause shame. It's to literally help you get to the root of that thing. Okay. A lot of times we out here dealing with the produce of these issues, the fruit of these issues which is surface level. And it's like, we got to get to the bottom of it. We got to get to the bottom of it. The only way you can really get rid of that thing is if you uproot it, right? So you got to deal with the root of the issue. Um. So yeah, as Yah is revealing things about you and your bloodline, don't move in the fence. Because the offense will actually slow you down. It will slow you down in uprooting that thing. Like it's literally a trick of the enemy. It's a trick of the enemy. Such a trick of the enemy. Because then you don't want to deal with it. And guess what? It stays and it sits there. Um, the other thing is, unfortunately, you know, I mean, we're, we're people and we like to see things, right? And so... These things need to, we need to be, it has to be highlighted to us. Like, hey, remember when you did X, Y, Z? This is why. Because if y'all came to you and was like, there is, mm, I don't know, gluttony in the bloodline. This is gluttony in the bloodline. It's like, whether he revealed it to you personally or revealed it to you through another person. It's like, what you mean? Ain't no gluttony in my bloodline. Uh, right? But there are people also on the flip side, you can say, oh, okay, so there's gluttony in my bloodline. Okay, Abba. Um, I will pray on that. Show me, reveal to me where. Show me how. Like, what does it look like? Like, what does it look like? Because some of these things can be very well hidden. And it made me think about how, um, like, for example, the elderberry bush, it takes a few years. I think it's three off the top of my head to actually bear those elderberries, to actually bear that fruit. So imagine, think about some things that are actually sitting in the bottom of you, the root. I always think about our feet. I always think about our feet. because That's the bottom thing, right? That's how we walk. So just imagine that you're just walking out life, not knowing that these things are within you and your bloodline and you have no idea because it's going to produce fruit one day and it's literally Yah's mercy that he's saying hey 
You see this thing that you used to do or even this thing that you do now? There's something to this. Let's get to the bottom of this so it doesn't destroy you later on. And I also think I also thought about how fruit can look different. Like the produce can look different. And I thought about peppers. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Uh, what is it? Misfits Market. And even when I go to the farmer's markets here, like sometimes they'll have like the ugly looking produce that no one wants to buy. And they'll actually sell that for cheaper because everyone thinks that things are just going to look so pretty and perfect in a certain way. And no, some of these vegetables be looking, they be looking weird, but they're, but they're actually, they're actually fine. They just look different. So I, the reason why I say that is because there can be the same spirit within each, um, like in your bloodline and it can show up differently in every single person. You know what I mean? You can have like three different people, whether in your bloodline or not, have the same spirit and it'll show up differently. That fruit would look different, but it came from the same seed. It's like people have children, right? And their family came from the same seed. But you got all these different personalities. Everyone's individualized in their own way. Um, but yeah. So just remember that the fruit is the last thing that is grown on the tree. It's the produce. And it is Yah's mercy revealing that to you. Not to condemn you. Not to cause you shame. Not to cause you guilt or embarrassment. It's to help you see. Hey. There's something to this. What seeds were sown for this fruit to be produced within you? So then that way, you can sow new seeds. You can, first of all, you can uproot that thing, okay? And sow new seeds, seeds of Yah. 